Today we're at the Wisdom to Action event in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's a CYCC event to bring together over 60 people from across the sector that serves young people working with challenging contexts and mental health. We started the day with a welcome from a First Nations drummer singing the Mi'kmaq Honor Song, then had a chance for everyone in the room to introduce themselves and say a little bit about why they came, and to meet a few people that they hadn't met before and share some of what they want to learn, what they want to get out of the day. We spent a big chunk of time in the morning in a World Cafe conversation, really connecting in small tables across the sector to notice themes and patterns and to draw out some of the strengths, emerging practices, promising areas of growth, and really areas of focus, places where we know we need to put more attention in the sector. World Cup Cafe Conversation really was started with this premise of um, we already know how to have great conversations as human beings, and typically we have those conversations around kitchen tables, around tables at a coffee shop, and we're sitting close um, around a table with people that we have some kind of passionate topic to discuss. But because the conversation happens in rounds, where people start at a table with just four or five people, um, and then they switch tables, you begin to cross-pollinate the rooms. And so that it's almost like a room of 200 people can have a conversation with itself, but every conversation is a small, intimate, five-person table conversation. Um, after that, we had a chance for people to really share some of the promising practices, the things that they're the tools, the practices, the programs that they're doing in the community that are really having an effect and making a difference. And then we spent some time digging into some of the key areas um, that people were passionate about, like things like arts-based practice, alternative therapies, supporting racialized youth, and other topics that were really alive and, um, and important for the community in the room today. And they got to look at what's already working, what's needed, and what actions might we take to make a difference around those areas. If you have a great conversation and you don't capture it, then you're wasting people's time and, um, and we don't have the ability to act on what we learn or what we discover together. So we pay a lot of attention and focus on how do we harvest the outcomes of the conversations. And so you can maybe even see behind me on the wall throughout the day where we were collecting information um, from all the various pieces of, of the dialogue and a graphic facilitator, a graphic harvester capturing those themes. From all, a lot of the conversations we created templates that invited people to really capture all the insights, the questions, the um, existing resources, the resources that were needed, um, the actions that we might take. And so while there were great conversations happening, there was also someone really attending to making sure that those conversations got recorded and that there was a record of them that we can use and send out and share with participants in the future and that can really be the basis of future action. I think this was an amazing day. I think a lot of people made new connections and felt validated by the conversations that they had with people and I felt that way as well and people were very very open and passionate and I think we heard at the end of the room a huge amount of sense of people want to continue that the conversation isn't over and this kind of supportive space is something that people want more of.